What's up, y'all? Pistons lose tonight, 87 to 75. Um, we on a three game loser streak. I am very pissed that we losing three games in a row. It's one thing to lose to Cleveland. It's even a really a one thing to lose to the Jazz. But to lose to the Raptors when they didn't even score, they wasn't even efficient offensively. That they wasn't even that great offensively, and we still lose the game some in some way, shape, or form. Three game losing streak, man. That's not acceptable. That's not cutting it, man. We not gonna go to the playoffs. We losing games like this, man. I'm sorry. We not we not making the playoffs, man. If we keep losing games like this, man. I'm, I mean, I'm just keep it real. Keep it real, everybody. Keep it real. Every all the Pistons fans out there, dog. If we if we keep losing games like this, we not making the playoffs. Period. Three game losing streak, man. Three game losing streak. I mean, this is the point of the season. We can't be going on no losing streaks. No. You got the Bucks on our ass. You got it. We trying to get the seventh seed. And if even we do get the AC, you know what's going to happen? We play Cleveland, and we might get swept again. I don't want to see that because there is no real progression from last season. We regressed from last year. Offensively, last year we was a better team offensively. This year we offensive efficiency been fucking terrible. Stan Van Gundy, man. <laughs> this dude made me laugh in the first quarter, dog. I'm gonna tell you why. Like <laughs> he called a timeout within the first two minutes of the game, dog. The first actually the first minute of the game, he called a timeout. The Raptors was up two to nothing. And he called a timeout. They was only they only scored one basket and he called a timeout. He he called a timeout. It was two to nothing in the game. That is hilarious. Like him just blowing timeouts like that is hilarious. That's bad, dog. <laughs> oh my god. We were just bad, man. We couldn't shoot the ball for nothing. That's what been that's what been one of the main problems in the past three games. We can't shoot the ball well. We can't shoot it effectively. We've been missing all in today's particular game. We missed so many open shots, man. You you name it. Open threes, open mid-range shots, open layups, open anything, open close shots, don't matter. You name it. We missed it. Miss, we missed free throws in this game. That counted. We shot like, I think, 60% from the free throw line tonight. That's not going to cut it. 65% or, I mean, below 70% from the free throw line, below 50% from the field, and below 40% from three, not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it. The deciding factor in this game was, the Raptors was able to hit threes when it mattered. They was able to hit threes, and we couldn't kind of react that. We couldn't make our own threes in this game. The Pistons, I think at some point, I think we was up by like 13 points or something like that, and we just blew the lead in the fourth quarter. The Raptors, the Raptors, they went on a 22-2 to two run in the fourth quarter. 22-2 to two run. Are you... <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? 22 to 2 run in the fourth quarter. See, you only scored two points when it mattered the most. We couldn't even score 80 points tonight. I know it was, it was some defense in this game, but there was a lot of shots we missed. That is poor. Poor. And y'all moving downtown just for Detroit. For Detroiters to see this bullshit? No. Y'all don't deserve a new facility downtown playing like this, man. Y'all don't deserve to be playing downtown playing like this, dog. Y'all y'all disgracing the city of Detroit right now. <laughs> like, it, it's bad, man. This game made me want to throw up. For real. It was one, it's one thing to lose to Cleveland, but you lose two games after that, man. At home. That is enough in itself to be going off.
and ran. That that's not that's not acceptable. Losing games like this will bite us in the ass. We lost three games straight. We ain't we three games below five hundred. This shit will bite us in the butt. It will bite us in the long haul. I promise you that. I guarantee it. We're gonna lose. I'm telling you, we're gonna lose out on making the playoffs, losing these type of games. These these three games, you never know. They can come back and bite us in the ass. Cause I think we only got what 14 games left or something like that. I know the schedule gets easier. We play the Suns and the Nets and the Bulls and the Orlando Magic. That's still not. I mean, can we win all four of those games? Hopefully, but the Pistons, I know them in the past. They'll lose. They'll be stupid as hell and lose to the Suns or some bullshit or lose to the Nets on some dumb shit. They always do it. They do it all the time. Even though the Nets only won 10 games this year, but you know how the Pistons roll when it comes to the um, Brooklyn Nets. You know how they roll. I feel like. I feel like in this game, Drummond and I, I felt like he wasn't good enough. He just was not good enough tonight. He was awful tonight. Defensively, he was awful. Awful. He was slow as hell on his feet. He was slow to react. And he was missing so many goddamn layups. It was ridiculous. And then you got Ish Smith missing layups. Like, what the hell is y'all doing, man? What is Stan Van Gundy doing with y'all? Y'all, y'all having a damn, a damn tea meeting or something? Y'all drinking tea at practice instead of actually practicing? What is y'all doing, man? Reggie Jackson, Mrs. Shots, he ain't show up. KCP ain't showing up. Mrs. Shots, that dude miss every damn thing, man. That dude shoot for the stars and be and be hitting for the sky. God damn, John Lure looked. <laughs> John Lure looked trash. <laughs> John Lewis looked trash tonight. <laughs> his, <laughs> his, I can't stand his jumper, dog. He, he got that short stop, low form. His form is he shoots so low that he don't put enough arc in his shot. That's why he been missing shots, man. That's why he don't make the shots. He don't he don't put the arc in his shot like he's supposed to. And then his defense is trash. Aaron Banks can't grab a rebound still. I mean, y'all need to send him back to Australia, man. And because he's not he ain't good enough, man. He's just not he not cutting it for me, man. He keeps shooting these little stupid mid-range shots like you got like you got a pull-up jumper like you like you Brad Miller from the Kings back in the day. You pulling up, you pulling up for mid range like you Hakeem Olajuwon, like you ain't got no J boy. Get out of here, dog. You killing me with that nonsense, dog. For real. You pull, you pulling up mid range shots like you, <laughs> like you dirt the whiskey or something, man. Get out of here. Baines played. Tra he had one block, but he his defense to me was trash. But the defense overall for the Pistons wasn't that bad. That wasn't the main problem. The main problem was we couldn't shoot the ball. And then, then SVG, his offensive play calling was predictable as hell. Every play was a pick and roll, dog. It, it's like watching the Lions play play calling. Like you know when the Lions they play, they all they run is the damn screen play. All they run is the damn. Um, bubble screen bullshit. That's what the Pistons do, except in basketball version. All you see is pick and roll every play. Now, this is the NBA. Their pick and rolls is a big part of offense. But we ran it every time we got the possession of the basketball. Every time. I swear, I ain't see no other play calls but pick and roll. You pick, you pick and rolling. You pick and roll for nothing. You just pick and roll just to pass the ball for him to set up another pick and roll. Every time somebody touches the ball, it's a pick and roll play. Pick and roll. Casey P get the ball. Pick and roll. He passed the ball to Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson get the ball. Pick and roll. You know, then he passed it on to, to John Lewis. John Lewis, pick and roll. And like, that is annoying, dog. That, 
I haven't nobody even noticed this about Stan Van Gundy or Stan Van Dummy is that the fact you keep if you keep running the same offense, uh, I mean consistently, this is this was a big problem in Cleveland. That's why they smoked us the way they did. They stopped our pick and roll because we we run it so much, we so predictable offensively. That's why they killed the Pistons in, in Cleveland the other night. That's why that was one of the major reasons. They stopped the pick and roll game for the Pistons, and they they see this shit because they they run it too much. They see it, they stopped it, and then when they stopped that, they got possessions, turnovers, and was able to score points off of defense. And that's what's going on for the past few games. It's nothing but pick and fucking roll. I don't mind pick and roll, but y'all running it way too much. It's not working, dog. It's not going to work. Y'all tried to do that in the playoffs last year against the Cavs, and what happened? You got swept. Stan, I question Stan Van Gundy's versatility on his play calling on offense. It, it He runs different variations of pick and roll. It's still pick and fucking roll. That's why you get swept, because it's predictable as hell. And then defensively towards the end, we kept switching off our, off our man. Why is we doing that? Why is we switching off our man towards the end of the game? That's stupid. You got you got point guards defending. Um, you got Reggie Jackson or or Ish Smith defending Valachunas. Like, what is you doing, dog? That's stupid. Or you got them defending defending Serge Ibaka. That's dumb. This is dumb. <laughs> y'all y'all kill me with this, man. I mean. We're not making the playoffs, dog. We losing like this, dog. Now, if we, we lose the next two games, we definitely not making the playoffs. I'm going to tell you that now. We lo Say, like, we lose two more games. What I mean, say, like, okay, we play the Suns and we beat them, but we lose to the Nets and then Orlando or something like that. Cut the playoffs out. We're not making it. We got to win. These, these next four games, we got to win at least three out of the next four games. If we gonna have if this is the stretch, next week is gonna be very even though tonight was a must win, but next week's stretch is very, and I mean very, very crucial. If we don't win the next three out of the next four games, you might as well kiss the playoffs goodbye. It's over. And I'm not playing either. If we don't win the next three out of the next four games, you might as well kiss the playoffs goodbye. We're not making the playoffs, period. But yeah, man, that's all I got to say, man. Y'all, y'all predictable. This team playing like ass. It's just ridiculous. Shout out to my boy Dante Chase for holding down the videos. He's starting to make more of them. Shout out to East One Up B. You've been doing your thing, working hard. Everything King. Shout out to uh, Mondo Ray Moore, Mr. Holland Park 313. Man, y'all need to subscribe to my boy, Mr. Holland Park 313, dog. Subscribe to him, dog. God, subscribe to my boy, dog. He be making good videos, man. Y'all be on him, dog. Subscribe to my boy. Um, subscribe to everybody, actually. But subscribe to um, who else? Mondo Ray Moore. He ain't been making videos like that, but yeah. Um, who else? A shout out to. I'm gonna shout you out anyway. Shout out to um, Eric, Alliance fan. Shout out to everybody, dog. I'm out. Peace.